Hey guys, Andrew here with Elephant Racing. Today, we're gonna to be showing you how to install our rear shock tower reinforcements onto this 1980 Porsche 911. When converting the 911 Torsion Bar rear suspension to coilover, the rear shock towers should be reinforced. Coilover springs introduce loads the towers were not designed to handle, which could eventually cause cracks. Our reinforcement kits add strength to an otherwise vulnerable area. Our reinforcements are laser cut to perfectly fit the profile of the shock tower, lightweight and strong. Installation of these reinforcements will require welding into place. Remember, this video is only an overview of the installation process, so be sure to check our website for the current downloadable instructions. Also, always have a service manual handy and remember to follow all standard safety procedures when welding and performing work on your car. With the engine removed from the car, we will start grinding away any obstructions to the reinforcements, if there are any. Now with that out of the way, we'll test fit the reinforcements onto the area being welded, making sure that gaps are minimal and the panels line up evenly on the body. Some trimming will be required due to variation car to car. With the panels test fit, you'll want to remove all undercoating, paint, galvanizing, and corrosion within and slightly beyond the work area. Inspect the area for the extent of damage, if any. If there is damage, cracks should be continuously welded and ground flat to ensure a flush fit between the original metal and the reinforcement panel. Now it's time to begin. Weld in the triangle brackets first. Weld the triangle bracket to the box section, cross member, and the vertical backside of the wheel well. Weld full perimeter and holes of the triangle bracket. Next, weld in large and small brackets. Due to the asymmetry of the pinch seam positioning, the large bracket will not align with the pinch seam. Center the large bracket on the shock tower and triangle bracket. The small bracket will cleanly follow the pinch seam on the cross member. Once welding is complete, you should be left with a perfectly reinforced area. To apply the primer, we make sure we have a clean surface for proper bonding. Make sure to tape off all the area being painted and evenly spray the primer. Two coats is more than enough. Apply a fresh layer of undercoating to match the factory finish, and you're ready for a layer of paint of your choice. And that's it. Your shock tower reinforcements are properly installed.